those days when you have a list like this big and then you can't find certain things to execute some of those things on that list. Like for example, I have all that paint, I have all that paint, but I can't find the right paint. I want a neon green or bright orange. We're settling for this guy. The trailer is locked and loaded. I wanted a BFH, but I couldn't find a BFH. BFH stands for big hammer. All I could find was an MFH, a medium hammer. F, you know what that means. Okay, so the reason why I have this stuff, I'm marking some trails. I figured, uh, you know, painting the tops of these stakes would be, you know, a little bit more visible for the stakes. I know this may seem weird, but but stay with me. Uh, this is the main trail here. Uh, we want to make a new trail up here, so we're staking that. I figured this will help the tractors and, you know, us in general be able to see exactly where that trail is going to go. And I don't have Crush with me because he has a flat tire currently and the radiator is mounted horrendously, absolutely horrendously. So I'm just walking this. I was passing up by the land, so I figured I'd stop real quick. And then once we get Crush up and going, then we can hit the trails. All right, the trails are marked. Heading out, picking up Crush, doing a couple other tasks. We'll keep it in the loop. Well, we made it to Crush. We marked our trails. Now we're picking up Crush. The reason why we didn't take Crush is for the reason back there and also back there. Let me elaborate. We got one, two, <laughs> three straps hanging onto the radiator, and the tire is now completely flat. There were a lot of rocks on our last ride, and I may have hit one, two, three, four, five of them, and maybe on the wrong side. Like, you don't want to hit your sidewall. Like, the top of the tire is okay, but your sidewall is always, like, something you do not want to get near, or you don't want to puncture that. It's okay if you puncture up here, because then you can just patch it. But I can't remember if I accidentally hit the side of my trailer with this and, and hit the sidewall on this tire or if it was the front. So we'll dive into that once we get home and get it cleaned up. Crush deserves it. Isn't that right, you dirty, dirty, and broken girl? That, that's broken too. We're having way too much fun with Crush. Crush is loaded, and yes, the garage is still a wreck. The Jeep still is here. We haven't sold him or taken him to auction or anything like that, and I don't know why I haven't addressed this. The reason why the Jeep has been on standby is the fact that the exhaust is a pain. I've gone to the city, I've taken this to the city, and they gave me a $1,500 uh, price on it, and I just think that's absolutely insane. Didn't like that price, so uh, I basically threw the Jeep back in the trailer and took off. So that's why the Jeep is not uh, being addressed right now. That's just $1,500, the energy and, and the equipment that's needed to make this happen. It's just not feasible at this time, so the Jeep, that's why it sits on standby. Another thing that I want to address is like the daily vlogs and stuff like that and my upload schedule. I know a lot of you guys found me while I was daily vlogging because I was filming every day. YouTube liked that, so they pitched it to you guys and more and more people subscribed. And I understand that it may be, it may suck that I don't daily vlog anymore, but I really want to get more entertainment out to you, more videos out to you, and we're really gonna start pushing it here. We have enough vehicles and enough things to get to and, and start reviving stuff that's just kinda gone off scene and kind of been neglected. Get all that stuff up and going and then do new, new stuff. So I'm excited about that. I guess we'll, we'll get into it real quick. So YouTube, I was doing very well and then YouTube's algorithms changed, their advertisers changed, their way they just monetize in general changed. So I didn't make as much money. Now this channel, if you don't know, is a business and you have to make more money than you spend. The Jeep would break that rule we would spend more money than we'd make. And to be quite honest with you, I make less than minimum wage right now, but I want to keep investing in this brand. I, I put up a video right now, it makes anywhere from $40 to $100, and it takes me right around anywhere from three to nine hours to make. And then if I'm not editing it, I now have an editor, his name is Jason, he's doing the editing from now on. Uh, he gets paid for that, so I make less than minimum wage. We're in, I'm investing my time, my energy into you guys, into this brand, into this channel, into this entertainment, into the future of what this channel and brand will be. 
So please stay patient with me. Things are definitely not all rainbows and unicorns on my end, as you can clearly see. So when all you guys ask about why I took breaks and why I don't upload as often, it's because literally I can't work on too many things because I can't have my expenditures go over my income and currently they are. Last year I didn't make any money. Uh, we were in the red at the end of the year and then this year we are definitely in the red but I'm continuing to invest in us because I know, I know once I do it right that we will all win. So yes, there are a lot of ideas up here and if you guys have any suggestions in the comment section below, leave them. Excitement around every corner. All right, so we made it back to the house. Crush is off the trailer. You guys probably saw the mower. We'll get to that in a second. But for now, we have some visitors. We have Seth, he, he stopped by after work to get the new merch. It's like a Froggy Fresh Buddy. He also got one for Jake. His is right here. It's Seth's first time here. What do you think, Seth? I like it. Different operation, huh? Nice place. It's in the city though. There's a lot of cars out there. Absolutely. <laughs> Any updates on your KTM and or Yamaha? On my bike? Yeah. Um, Need some work. Which one? The uh, KTM needs some work and needs some, just some maintenance with uh, chain sprockets and brake pads. You know, regular wear and tear items. Isn't the Yamaha like completely apart right now? Uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be back together. I got the exhaust painted. Really? Yeah, I went back to black instead of the chrome. The Yamaha might be for sale soon. Really? They might have the opportunity to get a famous machine then. Since it's famous, it'll be an extra cost. <laughs> Absolutely. And then we'll autograph it for additional costs. Additional cost. I gotta make some money. <laughs> I gotta go back to school. <laughs> Crush a semi cleaner. We're gonna investigate when this tire is flat. I mean, not a surprise to me. We put it through, put it through a lot. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not the sidewall, so that way it's fixable. We'll see. One thing that I do want to ask is, what do you guys think of like the videos where we break stuff, which I think is like every video? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like for for content, it seems like it's getting a little ridiculous if I break something literally just about every time I had to go out. Yeah, sidewall. Sounds like numerous places. We got two sidewall punctures. This one was from when I nicked it with my trailer. I'll show you where I nicked it in a second. And then this one looks like I probably just caught a rock or a stick or something. There are no other holes like in the other sidewall, but we can either fix this with a tube or a new tire. Three or four rides ago, one of these was sticking out and it, the sidewall grabbed on that and that's a sharp edge. Yeah, not good. I see how it is. You only want me for my RX-75 horsepower for days. Do you guys remember when I used to mow my yard with the zero turn? I think it was a 60 inch zero turn and my yard was probably 15 feet by 40 feet. Well, now I got this mower. This isn't nearly as cool, but it is sexier. This actually isn't mine, nor is it going to be mine. Uh, my next door neighbor from my mom's house wanted me to work on this, and me being a good neighbor, I took it on. So when I was down in town, picked this sucker up, and I know exactly what the problem is. Luckily, this is kind of like a flat tire, uh, a tire that leaks very, very slowly. You could put air in it, go for a little bit of ride, and then when you come back, you know, overnight, the tire would leak out and then you'd have to fill it back up. Same situation with this. What's happening is the carburetor, which gives the engine fuel when it's running, is actually leaking into the engine when the engine isn't running, which is filling the, the crankcase. So now there's gas inside there and that's not good. So what we'll do, since my yard needs to be mowed, one of the biggest perks of working on these things. I'll change the oil, put this cover back on, take it for a rip, mow the yard, get the part ordered, and everybody wins. And I get to rock out on the sexy RX-75. Thing's a total chick magnet. Yep, gas and the oil. And plus, it's pouring out that quick, definitely not the right viscosity. 
While I'm changing that mower's oil, I saw that this white wire was off from earlier today, and I bought this probably about uh, eight months ago from Napa, and all these wires are just completely corroded. Like, it's completely shot, so I'll have to get a new one of these. At this point, I'm unsure whether this or my 60 inch zero turn were more fun. This thing, in my opinion, is definitely a little bit more sketchy. I should throw some machine and braptastic decals on this sucker. Dalton, you can't do that though, it's not your property. 